Good Monday. Just a quick reminder that next Tuesday's first Tuesday of each month luncheon will be discussing inflation as it affects medical costs during retirement. That's right, so be sure to go to our websites right now and grab tickets for that event if it's of any interest to you. And as Greg said, we'll be doing that the first Tuesday of every month. So if, this, if next week is already full, uh, please do feel free to RSVP for the following month in May. We've got an important topic lined up for that month as well. Uh, so here's what we looked at last week. Nationally, home sales took a step back last month. The National Association of Realtors reported an almost 1% drop in residential resales for the month of February. The federal government subsequently announced a 1.6% slip in new home purchases last month, although new home prices rose by over 8%. The year-over-year -year numbers are better. Existing home sales have jumped almost 9% in the last 12 months, and new home sales have picked up by over 11%. Housing starts were down slightly, just over 1% in February, from January's four-year high, but building permits were up over 5% on the month. A little bit of good news in the unemployment scenario. According to the Labor Department, claims fell by about 5,000 to a seasonally adjusted 348,000 for the week ending March 17th. This is the smallest amount since March of 2008. I think the most common question that Greg and I are asked is, Eric, Greg, what is going to happen in the markets? Where are we headed? Well, one of the things that we watch are what's called leading indicators, and they have moved north again for us. The conference board's monthly index rose almost 1% for February, with reduced jobless claims and the interest rate spread exerting the most influence. Eight of the index's 10 indicators were up for the month. Last week, stocks pulled back a little bit as anxieties over subpar foreign manufacturing indices inspired some profit taking. A new concern surfaced Friday. Reuters said Iran's oil exports had dropped 14% this month. The S&P retreated about a half percent last week to 1397 on Friday. The Dow lost a little bit over 1% on the week to settle Friday at 1380 while the NASDAQ advanced about a half percent in five days to wrap up Friday at 3067. Gold ended the week at 1662 an ounce, oil at about 107 a barrel. Unleaded gas averaged 389 a gallon nationally in AAA's newest price survey. There's plenty of crucial data appearing this week. Today, the National Association of Realtors tells us about February's pending home sales and Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke speaks about the labor market at NABE's annual conference. Tomorrow we get the January S&P Case-Shiller Home Price Index, the conference board's <coughs> March Consumer Confidence Poll, and fourth quarter results from Lennar and Walgreens. And on Wednesday, February durable goods orders, orders figures come out, plus earnings from Family Dollar and Texas Industries. On Thursday, offers the government's final take of fourth quarter GDP and earnings from Best Buy and Research in Motion. And then wrapping up the week on Friday, February, consumer spending data arrives, plus the final University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey for March. That's what we're looking at this week. My name is Eric Hagan. I'm Greg Petrie. We'll keep our finger on the pulse of the economy and report back to you next Monday. So please, be sure to subscribe and sign up. Come see us next Tuesday. We'd love to have you.